My mother, Miss Hilda, and I aren't the only cooks in the family. My father, Mr. John, makes a mean meatloaf stuffed with chorizo, and it's always been a family favorite. We're going to begin in a skillet with about two teaspoons of olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. And then what we're going to do is add one onion that we've had diced, one small green bell pepper, seeded, diced. We're going to add some salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and begin to saute about four or five minutes our vegetables. So you want the vegetables to cool uh, about 10, 15 minutes. Now what we're gonna do is assemble the meatloaf. I've got a pound of ground beef chuck, a half pound of pork sausage that we're gonna add to each other. I have a cup of breadcrumbs, but you can always add, but you can't take away. So let's not add all of them at first. Some salt, freshly ground black pepper, and of course, it wouldn't be a great meatloaf without some essence. So now, to that, we're gonna take two eggs with a cup of heavy cream, or you could use half and half as well, and you're gonna slightly just beat the egg into the cream, take the cool vegetables to the meat mixture, and now we're gonna incorporate everything and check our breadcrumbs as well. Now you can see the chorizo has not been smoked, so this is a fresh chorizo that we are gonna use for this which you can get in most grocery stores or butcher shops. If this was a little wet, I would add a little bit more breadcrumb to it, but it looks to be perfectly fine right now. So let's put it together. We're gonna just make a little slit of the fresh chorizo, just to open that casing a little bit. And then we're gonna take half of the mixture in a nonstick baking pan, spread it nice and evenly, once we have that layer, we're gonna take this incredible link of chorizo because I was born to use bowl flavors. Now we're gonna take the meat mixture and cover the link of chorizo, making another layer. We're gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Mr. John's meatloaf. Oh, what memories I have of this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take ketchup, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and then I'm gonna show you Mr. John's secret. Because this here, my friend, when it's incorporated, becomes the glaze. Just spread it nice and even, 375 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. An internal temperature of 160 degrees is perfect. Let it rest, okay? It needs to rest for about 10 minutes. And then what happens is magic. Look at that. You see the chorizo in there? Look at how beautiful that is. And he would always serve this with potatoes and whatever green vegetable is in season. That's Mr. John's meatloaf. Hey, this is a manly meatloaf. Passed down from father to son. Thank you, Mr. John, for this hearty meatloaf recipe. This is delicious.